Hello. So in this video, I wanted to share with breastfeeding families how patent laws in North America are going to end up impacting your breastfeeding journey, and that's even if you live somewhere else in the globe. Um, and so just a, such an important message, I really want to get it out there. The first eight weeks of my son's life turned into a living hell when we were told he wasn't following his growth curve. It was because I wasn't enough. I wasn't uh, producing enough milk. Here were the 10 billion different reasons why I might be having problems, and here were the 10 billion different solutions, and here's the money that it was going to cost. The amount of pressure was incredible. My gut was screaming the entire time that something was wrong because my son looked so healthy. And it wasn't until people looked at a growth chart that all these doom and gloom messages started showing up and all the sales pitches started. And it was the sales pitches that made me angry and made me start researching. I looked for what was at the foundation, what was driving all these messages that I should buy something to overcome this problem of not being enough for my son. And I came across this. Hi, boo. Patent law dictates that you cannot put a patent number on anything that is natural. So if it came that way, that's just the way that it was, you can't put a patent on it and you can't ask people to pay you fees. But as soon as something has been altered or created by a human being, it can be patented, they can charge money. And so there are a lot of corporate interests out there that know if your breastfeeding journey is going well and you are able to follow a natural path, they don't get a single dime and they're not okay with that. Now, having said that, I've encountered many families, and especially women, they overcame a particular challenge and just thought, my goodness, you know, here was the solution for me. I want to help more families overcome this. And so they have a small business with products or services, and their hearts are just incredible. They are wonderful people to encounter. But there are absolutely darker corners of corporate interest that you need to know about. These are uh, businesses that essentially know if you're breastfeeding journey is going well, then they get nothing. They're not okay with that. So they will advertise in the subtlest, sneakiest ways to make sure you get the message you are not enough. And what's terrifying is that it turns out that these guys actually actively invest in being professional development opportunities for healthcare providers. Healthcare providers need to put in a certain number of hours of professional development to maintain their designation. They attend these workshops and what they don't know is that the specialist in front of them is actually representative for a company. Parents have this problem, here's how to solve it, here's this wonderful product. And so a healthcare provider unintentionally becomes a salesperson. There's actually an entire health field now that's de uh, dedicated to breastfeeding, a lactation consultant. So many people enter the field with this amazing heart and what they don't realize is that they are slowly cultivated into being salespeople, pushing patented products onto breastfeeding families and without meaning to do so. So what do I mean by that? What are some of these patented things out there? Well, if you think about it, a pump, a pump is a patented product. Every time somebody buys one, somebody gets money. If you want a pump, get a pump. You don't want a pump, you don't have to get one. That's the message I want. There's no judgment on what your ideal breastfeeding journey is, but I want you to know that all these things out there, somebody's gonna push for it. So whether it's a breast pump, galactagog drugs, so these either increase breast, uh, breast milk production or start, Breast milk production, even though you didn't have a baby, that's a really intense drug. But a galactagog is a patented drug. Every time somebody fulfills that prescription, somebody gets money. There are patented cookies, so uh, dietarily increasing breast milk production, and just all these different things. Formula, one of the huge ones, and I think something that gives us a lot of insight into the patent laws and that darker corner of corporate interest in breastfeeding and trying to convince you you're not enough, you're doing it wrong, here's the problem and we're the solution. Um, Trump at a United Nations meeting made it clear that he was going to remove military support from countries that put uh, effort or invested in educating their populations in natural breastfeeding so that they would reduce their reliance on formula. Oh my goodness, okay, so actively you know, making that threat to protect the corporate interests of the formula industry, something is wrong. And so um, just knowing that there's that whole range of really good hearts, products and services to support families, they're wonderful people, terrifying dark interests that will meddle with the healthcare system and threaten, you know, military action essentially um, over, you know, buy our product. Ah, okay, and then we've got everything in between. Um, you, as soon as you start breastfeeding, your baby shows up, even before that, how many free samples were you offered? for products, you know, coupons for things before your baby even showed up. Buy, buy, buy. I'll put one more on your radar, even procedures. Did you have to pay for it? Would it somehow get paid for? Um, 
out of all the healthcare providers that our family was pushed towards trying to solve the problem that we didn't actually have, I just had to feed my son more often and make sure my breasts fully drained. Um, one of the things we were pushed towards was getting his lip tie and tongue tie taken care of. But here was the problem. One professional said he had a lip tie, but no tongue tie. Another one said he had a tongue tie, but no lip tie. Somebody else said he had both. Another said he had none. And that was one of the things that really made me angry and really started making me uh, research. Um, and I turned it, it turned out I looked into it. Well, how much would it cost if I did get this taken care of? And oh, for the low price of $200 and change, we could go to our dentist and have these things snipped. Somebody gets paid. And so um, I just want you to know, um, well, there are some beautiful hearts out there. There are a lot of people that know if your breastfeeding journey is going well and you're able to follow a natural path, they don't get money. They're not okay with that. And so in ways both very subtle and very overt, they're going to try and push things on you. If during your breastfeeding journey you hit a wall, I really encourage you reach out to other families that have had the kind of breastfeeding journey that you're hoping to have. Find out how they did it. Um, and then beyond that, um, just if you feel like, no, I've hit a legitimate brick wall, I'm not sure that I can solve this problem naturally, then breathe. And when you hear the sales pitches and the things that you can pay for, don't feel pressure to pursue them. Take some time to think, talk to somebody that you trust out loud, and then evaluate if you do actually want that to be a part of your breastfeeding journey or not, if you do want to pay that money. Um, so having said that, whatever your breastfeeding journey is, my heart behind making this video is I want to help you achieve that. Um, I don't want to try and you know make other people's breastfeeding journeys look like mine. Just what I had, um, because I was ultimately able to achieve my breastfeeding dreams, it was such a fulfilling experience as a woman. Um, it was just a great you know experience for our family because we felt really good about how we were raising our son. And I just, whatever you want, however you want to achieve that, I want to support you in doing that. So with that in mind, if you have questions or comments, you want to join the conversation on this topic, please put your thoughts down in the comments. Um, like the video, share the video with anybody that you think would find this interesting food for thought. And I'm trying to reach 2,000 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to hit the subscribe button down there. And just, I hope this was helpful for you, that it was good food for thought, and I hope you have a great day. All the best. Bye.